This will be part two on how to use a SAPRO Orbital Tracker 3.0 light. I'm going to show you how to aim a DirecTV slimline dish with a Swim3 LMD without using a splitter or a power inserter. So now it was thought that we could only aim a Swim3 LMD with a power inserter to provide the power. I've discovered through some online research that that is not the case. I used six different Swim3 LMDs from all ages and found I could use the tracker light on all of them with these specific custom settings for 101. The first setting is frequency rate 12224, symbol rate 20,000, local 11250, 13 volts with the 22 off. The second is frequency rate 12326, symbol rate 20,000, local 11250, 18 volts with 22 off. I find the 18 to be more reliable as it worked on all SWIM3 LMDs, whereas the 13 sometimes did not. So we put it into search mode, and you see a low signal rate. I discovered through my online research the Swim LMB needs power, obviously, and then we'll reset. There you see, after 15 seconds, once the power is supplied. The tracker light is providing enough power to the Swim to work, and as you can see, I've already tuned the dish. There's off. We now only have a signal. And there's the quality bar. And that's all with the swim out 3 LMB and the only power being supplied to it is through the tracker light. I did not have a swim 5 to test with. Uh, should I get one I'll try and post my findings below. So there you have it. We can now do a swim LMB with no additional hardware and it's a nice quick and easy install. Enjoy your tracker lay 3 and thank you for your time.